You know what the most efficient way to kill a tree is? Is to just cut off the bark. If you just slice the bark in an even line around this entire tree, it will die. Because they are transporting the water through the bark. The more you know. Welcome to my world of absolutely, completely useless knowledge. Wake up. Oh, it's so cold. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. Uh oh. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Mm. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. We'll okay. Do. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? No. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, alright. Hank is the name we use for our pictures. Dragolesk. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. Oh. Manly. Yeah. What? I didn't... Can I put it back? A singular mind. Oh no. Don't mind... Mind your mind alone. Have you considered the untaped po tapped power of your own mind? Do you often ponder the unexplained? You know what, Dr. Jonas Allard? No. Oh! Glory? Hmm. Really? Should I have read those things? Death strikes at two? Yeah, sure. Experience, Richard Stur Sturgeon's explosive follow-up to the to one chance to die. Twelve bodies, zero leads, one man for the job. Patriots. I don't actually read books. Oh, cute. Maybe we can find a book about butterflies. Oh, what? I guess he doesn't like birds. Glass cleaner? Do we need uh, do we need to put it back? Space puffs? That's cute. Water jug. No? I'm glad they're explaining to me. Why can I pick up some things? Suds. <laughs> put it back. Do we... Bleach? Bundle of fireworks? Uh... Old... Why, why did we have that? Is that what we picked up ourselves? Or... Hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Put it back. Oh. Why? <gasps> what are you doing? Why would you throw it? Hmm. Yeah, save for later. Yeah, yeah. That's for us. Firefinder. Okay, um. Right, we were going to the cave. That's what we were doing. Take the backpack. Good. Ah, gorgeous. That's so pretty. <laughs> I like that he's doing that. I'm just gonna say that doesn't look very safe at all. Okay, so we want to go to the toilet. 
there. Luba luba luba. Why is it all smoky? Hmm? Okay, so... Bear to Bear tooth? Beer tooth. Nyeow. Maybe it's not like smoky, maybe it's just... Mist. Morning mist, yeah. Hmm. Where are we? Thunder... Two forks, look at- oh, there. Okay, so the cave is there. Like... I don't know. So, north? This way, right? You look at this. And then... Little to the east, straight through the bushes. Yeah, look at that. Guess we're going down again, huh? Oh my god, I would freaking never. I grew up in, in... I grew up in a forest. Actually, we did grow up very close to a forest and I was there every freaking single day. You don't do that. You don't jump like that. At least not when you're alone. Hmm? Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Yeah. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Hmm. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... Hmm. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, huh? Sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Hmm? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hmm. That was weird. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Hmm. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like... Like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife. Oh my goodness, stop. My but you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. No. Nope. Yeah, sure. Like I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see why I wouldn't tell her about that. Not that I'm... I feel like I'm... I'm tricking her or anything, but... That would be the reason we're here, right? I mean, shit's difficult. You'd need to... I mean, I don't know. The way I'm thinking about it is like, if... What if I would go so through something similar with my husband and I would be getting super sick and I don't remember him? I would want what's best for him. I mean, I wouldn't want him to... I mean, obviously I would want him to be around, right? But I wouldn't want him to put his whole life on pause. Still want him to... Be happy. That's... That's how I'm reasoning anyway. I don't know. That's the... Yeah, that's how I would want it. And then screw everybody else with their judgmental way of thinking and... Shit. What was that? Oh. 
Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can yeah. head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Got it, got it. Get it, got it, good. Yeah. That's, that's how I'm reasoning. I would rather want him to just be happy. And you can see it. I mean, I don't know if you guys know. If you guys are old enough to know anyone who's just old enough to go through those or if you know someone who's going through early alzheimer's and all those stuff where you lose your memory but i do and i would never tell their tell them that oh no you should spend more time with the the person whose whose memories are just to shit because that stuff is hard you need to focus on yourself a little bit. You need to for your own mental health, for your own well-being. Can't forget about that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Mm. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? <laughs> I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. I have no idea what she said. Uh, okay, so we're there. Okay. Yeah, so... I guess we'll just follow them. Now, see, I got so distracted by talking, I don't know if I went this way or not. <gasps> Bramble! No, we don't like Bramble. Okay. Let's go. That's cute. Why don't we see more uh, wildlife and stuff here, hmm? I I will I didn't say anything. I no bears. Thanks. At least there's plenty of places to run downhill if I would encounter one. Oh, there's the the cash. Cash, hey. Ah, the bushes th that are just making those sounds are just freaking me the gosh darn out. What if the butterfly brought friends? You know? Will we have to name the butterfly? His name's Richard. Richard the butterfly. One, two, three, four. Any one of you seen space balls? Wow. No. Ooh. Our love is six feet under. I can't help. Can I take it with me? No. But wonder if our love was watered by your rain. Could roses bloom? Oh! Oh my god! Hello! Hello! Oh my... Oh, be careful! Adopt them! Oh my god! You can adopt the animals here? Oh, no wonder there's no animals left here. The previous ranger just adopted them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we going? What are we doing? I forget. So that one goes all the way up there. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Okay. That's what we'll do. Could I climb up here? No, of course I can't. I need to walk around. And so we got a little turtle. Why couldn't we adopt a butterfly? Turtle, you're gonna love it in my place. I have awesome books. 
and I have like a wash the soap I have I have a, a frying pan not for you for food you're not food you're a friend because I found you okay heck hey so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill that's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, yep. maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Hmm. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. That's weird. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? Hmm. What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just... Seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Can we not? It's right there, man. Just pick up the can. Pick up the can! Just pick up the can- <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. So, uh, what? No. What's up with the kids, really? Ugh. Gosh darn children. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. <gasps> I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. Holy what do you crap. Want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Uh-huh. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Okay. Yeah, make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Uh, Thanks, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. We need to hide the evidence. Okay, so this is uh, getting super unsettling. And why I could never work in any sort of job that's... I guess I don't like confronting people. I mean, not like completely true, but if I'm not sure what they are capable of, I don't think I would want to do that. There's another can, I really want to clean them up. Hmm. Like, why would they do that? I also- I put back the boombox, I didn't do anything. I just... I put it back. You think they went this way? No. Maybe here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. See any cans? Zoom with our eyeballs. Do we see any cans? You know, it doesn't have to be the girls. It could be the guy that we saw previously. It's not like... It's not like it would be difficult for him to just pick up a couple of those beer cans and then just take the panties, right? Can I not do lo report long? Okay. Let's see. Let's 
Is that a cash? Let's pick it up. Let's get some map. Alright, which reminds me, the one that's really close to our camp, I didn't fully look into that one. Oh! Is it still the same? Two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. You think they went the other way? Or yeah, pop 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 pop. What would scare a teenage girl? Trashed your camp? I mean, I hmm. I got a picture I can show them. No, that would freak me out. But I don't know. I I wouldn't want to confront someone if I don't know what they're capable of. What they are capable of. Be very careful with that. What do we There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Hmm. Oh! Ryan Goodwin? Rope! Yeah. Oh, uh, uh Well, I am flush with ropes now. Good. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just... Leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Mm. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Oh? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great Good kid. I... You can bring children out here? No. Mm, no. Okay. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. Mm. And, um, one day they were just gone sucks what do you mean anyway, just gone so it goes have uh, fun with that camera try not to snap anything that would scar a photo dome employee i don't know i got a lot of hiking to do might get bored <laughs> well i'm bored as rocks so i'll keep you company while you find those girls huh um so what do you mean he just disappeared would you not keep track of like okay this employee just Cute. No. Take that. Good. Note. Read it. Dave! Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit, he. Steve, it's your man, Ron! I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talk to him, heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when they said when they saw Chimney Rock uh, having himself, having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Yeah, sure, yeah. Except for us, of course, with the cream de la cream. Let's toast. Yes, well. I don't know. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's really... Wait, that's a claw? You're joking. Blue stone? Hmm. Bonk. 
How that how how would that be a claw? Whoa. We're doing some shit, Tom. Huh? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? Oh, right. The guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. Mm -hmm. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. I mean, that could still happen. Let's be honest. What? I was just... Pushed forward. Whoa, do we see any canes? Where do we have the canes? Okay, so we got rope, but I thought we were following the cans. It just... did I... I think I may have gone the wrong way. What does she have? She's got oh. Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Hmm. Was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Oh, man. Devastating. Especially for her. Yeah. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Hmm. That's good. You should talk about that. And you see the way he talked about it? It was devastating for her, everything she lost. I mean... Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? Hey you there, Delilah. Have no, you heard no. about the fencing? Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? <laughs> a chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Oh. Huh. That's weird. What are they keeping in? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Hmm. I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. What do you mean it's strange that it's out there? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Why would you not... Why would you not know what... what? There, there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. It's looking more and more like Blair Witch. Guys, it's looking more and more like Blair Witch. I don't know. I don't know. They have a section. Yeah. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. Mm. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Yeah. For sure, I went off into absolute nothingness. Oh, I was gonna say we have sections like these where I live, but it's not like a burnt section, it's just old dying forests, and we're keeping it because it's a lot of uh, birds and insects and stuff that lives there. So for the benefit of the... Come on, can I go down? So for the benefit of the animals that are actually living in those areas, those are being kept. And it's pretty cool. I sort of like it. Oh, look at that. So, how'd you meet? Oh. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. Mm -hmm. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Mm -hmm. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> <sighs> Same thing, I guess. Whoop. Here we go. Ooh. 
Let's go. I think we'll just go back. Backtrack a bit. They'd leave those um, beer cans and stuff, right? Is how I am thinking. Further, Delilah. <laughs> do do do. Ba 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 da da. It's true. <laughs> oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. It's what you do to me. It's what you do to me. But there's a plane, some trains, and cars, and I walk you if I have no other way. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we'll just laugh along because we know that no one else will feel the same. And you're the blame. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. Oh! No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Hmm. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! <laughs> Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? <laughs> You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account even if it means giving his life? <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we don't even have the... Crank. Uh, do you think these guys knows each other in real life? The way they're talking with each other just sounds so natural. Uh, okay, so we looked into that thing. We found the cable and we were... Where did we go down? We went down somewhere. I feel like I missed something. I feel like I missed something. There, the long drop, right? So, I can't get back up. And I don't know which way they could possibly have gone, huh? Though it sort of makes sense that it would be this way, right? Since we found the rope and stuff. Eh, let me through. <sighs> right. I see a really thin plume of smoke. That could be it. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Mm. You think it's them? I reckon so. Could be. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Right. Will do. Okay. I guess I went back for not much. Uh, so I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Okay. You want me to go back and see what I can do? No, I want this guy to have to roll his lazy ass all the way out here. Hmm. It flapjack is a choice phrase, by the way. It really fits the bill in this case. Mm -hmm. Flapjack. Flapjack. I wish I could jump in this game and jump everywhere. There's a plane, some trains, cars, and I'll walk if you if I have no water way. Wow! My ankles don't exist. That's fine. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Hmm. Are you going to go be with her? Just... Go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just head back to Boulder and... I don't know, I'll figure out what's next. 
So maybe mm. I'll move. <laughs> no. You should go see her. Yes, you love her. If she remembers me. I know I don't know anything about your situation, but I think you should go or you'll regret it. She'd love to see you. I think you should go. You're being weird, Delilah. Being really fucking weird. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. You should see the picture I'm having. Um... Yeah, she's being weird. I I guess it's like, yeah, you don't really know what to say and you're trying to say the best thing and so it just comes out a little awkward. That's still weird. Don't, don't. Don't do that. You should go see her. You love her. She loves you. Because she'll be glad to see you. You don't know anything. I guess she's just trying to be nice. I guess I'm just being... A little picky. Oh. We get music? Music? Oh no, what's gonna happen? Getting all nervous. They're like... Drunk and having the sense of I'm immortal. As all most teenagers do. Right? Obviously. Not all teenagers. And not all girls, and not all boys, and not all men. Um, but that's what I would be afraid of. Hmm. Oh. The heck? And, uh, okay, I guess uh, this one belongs here. No? Didn't copy this one yet, so... That's good. Um, wait. Where was I supposed to go? I'm there. Oh yeah, there's the fence. Oh, we walked all the way there. Okay. Medicine wheel? Yeah, I'm not sure where we were supposed to go. I completely lost... Lost my sense of direction. Yeah, there's the lookout, but I don't know. Should we go back to the lake? In the end, it's probably where they, they went, huh? Well, that those notes are just out of look I need you to be in there where did you go now okay you know that's a choice you're allowed to make find a source of smoke yes I'm not sure where I'm going I don't know is this a thing for me at least when I'm following a map? I know you're supposed to have north up and all of that, but I'm turning the map depending on what direction I'm going. <laughs> I think that's a woman thing. Men in general in this is not I'm not trying to be funny. But men in general actually do have an easier time to read maps than women. They also have an easier time to understand 2D maps than women. Isn't that funny? I thought that was funny. It's also the best excuse. I also hear that women tend to mix up left and right more than men do. And that's my excuse and that's what I'm gonna run with. Huh? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People mm. killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? What no, the hell? Life. 
Christ, lady. I don't know. Bump the microphone, sorry. Oh, I'm trying out a new microphone, by the way. My neighbors are so loud. I had to change a dynamic microphone. Oh. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. You think that these would be the sort of paths that they would maintain if they're expecting rangers to go here every summer? Or is that just me? Just me being uh, convenient? A little uh, lazy? Alright. Yeah. They're just back. Back to where they were. So I guess I can go this path now. Oh well. I guess we'll try it out. Why am I getting nervous? What are they gonna do? Like, throw beer cans at me? Oh. But maybe, maybe a little throw panties. Oh no! Did you see I turned around and saw my backpack? That's funny. Not the panties. Maybe I can take a picture of them. Hehehe. <laughs> naked. Hello, naked ladies. Don't know where I went now. Did I? Was I not supposed to go here? Hmm. I don't know. Guess we have a lot of cash. Hello. One, two, three, four. Nice. Missing person? I think I know where he went. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Shoshone. None, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It mm. just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Yeah, exactly. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Mm. Oh, I want to reply, but I want to drink water. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. Mm -hmm. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. Mm. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Oh. Excuse me, lady. You're the one who sends, keeps sending me out. Mitch Mitchells. Michaels, sorry. Distinctive facial there, okay. Uh oh. Spaghetti, oh, he was around the lake. Yeah. I'll just keep it, I guess. Do we have anything funny in here? Pinecone, don't care. Am I supposed to care about that? Oh, yes. This perfect specimen. It's already been nubbed at by the squirrels. Goddamn squirrels getting into my stash. Okay, so where are we going? No, I wanted to do this. Moink. We are, we are there. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Just, just keep going, I guess. Like for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Hmm. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did Ooh, you know that? really? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. You're joking. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? 
Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. In Sweden, we call them Björk. Björkträd. And we even have towns that's called Björkarna stad. I don't know, what is Björk in Swedish? I didn't know that they just had one root system, really? Oh, that actually makes me a little sad because one time I wanted to make like a little strawberry patch in our yard and we had a couple of these trees there. Well, obviously this, they were a little bit everywhere, but on our like plot of land. And to, to be able to plant it, I had to cut off the roots because they were... Well, you know, you've seen those pictures of trees. They have the root system going way deep down. They don't do that. They don't have that. They just have one main root that just goes straight down. And then their roots are just not very far down, actually. And it's just flat. If you've ever seen a tree fall over, it's just like a flat system. Um. So, but, well, anyway, it's not that far down and I had to cut it off. And now I'm sad. Maybe I killed, killed trees. No, actually. You know what the most efficient way to kill a tree is? Now you're gonna all gonna find out that I'm actually sweet. Is to just cut off the bark. If you just slice the bark in an even line around this entire tree, like a you know like a gap, a few centimeters gap, it will die because they are transporting the water through the bark. The more you know. Welcome to my world of absolutely completely useless knowledge. Why is the water green? See, we found the thing I don't know. That's good. That is good. I guess we'll just follow it. Just follow the green water. I think we're going the right way. waterfall down here oh that's true given those girls love a skinny dipping i bet they're nearby uh there's some cloth out here it looks like it was torn from something hmm. strange i'll keep looking around yeah cool that's just pretty cool mm, you don't really have a lot of waterfalls near where i live we have do have a lot of forests. Towards the summer, maybe I'll start posting a couple of the f some forest pictures. It's very beautiful nature around here. Still, some snow. Still some snow there. Oh. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Yep. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Do we take a picture? Is this are these pictures just like because it's pretty? Because I'm like, yes. I'm a detective. You know? I have entered the teen zone. Oh really? <laughs> and where's that? Oh, it's the God. name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. Oh my God! What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> These girls have a full case of beer left here—a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets. Mm. So they did break into your tower. Apparently. Looks like. Those are my cheats. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. 
Agreed. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should uh, have nice hunks. Yes. Ugh, boring. You're serious? Well, I guess it's the eighties. Uh, pants are back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pants are back. Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine. <laughs> the experts. It's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean. Oh my God. Yeah. And then we never got pants with pockets. At least not proper pockets. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Oh! Which would explain that scrap I found. What well, it didn't look like that from like a, here. Like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever yeah. did it, did not hold back. Holy... You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Dude. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Nope. Holy crap, it's... You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh god, dear Psycho. I hope you're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at, in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is so gross out. Oh, you're probably the, a mental mm -hmm, axe murderer and we're so going and, and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some some fireworks. Dick. Okay, so Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Uh. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my <laughs> God! Well, did you? <laughs> no way! No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Oh my god. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. My goodness. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really yeah. don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, it's not going too. to be one. We can sort of confirm- Hey, no, I wanted to explore more. Okay, so the, probably the guy that we saw is just pinning us against each other. Right? Forge down there to patch the window, yeah. Okay. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Burly man. Because I'm horribly superficial. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay. Are you serious? Well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In five foot scope, king? I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Oh. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest <laughs> man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Skirts. Ah, uh, tuxedos. Clothes. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. <laughs> one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. Hmm. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Since I was All a right. child. Perfect. I want to know a 
about your eyes? Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Huh? You're what? Is is that okay? No, uh, that's weird. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Tired. They look tired, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Hmm. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. My god. Absolutely. Look like the Muppets. Okay, board up. I really don't think those girls did this. I'm just saying. Calling it out as it is. Bunk, bunk. Bunk, bunk. And the last one. And we got a classic Rusty 2 going. Good. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. It's true. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <gasps> the turtle! Hi, baby! Hi! Oh my god, why are you so cute? Oh, look at him go! Oh no! Oh, baby! Why are you so cute? Hello? What's your name? What do we name him, guys? Is it a him or a her? Hmm. Ludwig? Yeah. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Uh -huh. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. He's super cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a... Uh, oh, no, he will rename it. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, no. Mayhem Junior. Mayhem Junior. Oh. That is peculiar. It has sentimental value. I guess Bucket would have been cuter, huh? Mayhem Junior. Hello. Hello, you little cutie. Oh my god. Be careful with it. It's actually, you can, he can sense touch through his shell. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess we're ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Mm -hmm. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Oh, yes. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. <gasps> yeah, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. Mm -hmm. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Oh. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, no. Oh. I wasn't mentally prepared for that screen. But here we are.